Can you tell us how you feel about colon therapy and the part it's played in the quality of your life? I didn't know I was looking for it until I found it, right? So, I mean, it's it's been it's been a huge um, step. It's a journey that's pretty exciting in terms of where it can take you and what the potential is. My name is Elaine, and uh, I am a nurse by background, educational background, with a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. My working career has pretty much been in the world of sales, both uh, medical diagnostics and most recently in the area of microbiology and, and food safety. And, um, and I have just recently retired from the workforce. I had already been working in sales. The environment was extremely stressful. And of course, in that role, I also traveled a lot. And if I wasn't traveling, I was sitting in front of a computer. And, and so some of the, just the workforce um, risk factors of you know typing all the time and staring at screens and then just I think the emotional stress of the things that were happening in the workplace and so I started to feel a lot of um, discomfort you know I felt sore and I had pain in my back and my neck and shoulders and I just didn't feel very well and my TMJ challenge has been around probably since I've been in university. It was identified by a, a dentist when I was going for routine sort of dental care. And at that time was um, prescribed um, a splint to wear at nighttime, which from his perspective was the way to prevent my, me from grinding my teeth down to powder. And so that was all we did was I wear a splint and everything else around it was unchanged. And then over time, as I started to explore some other modalities of care through acupuncture and cranial sacral, you know, started to um, have a sense that I had probably some emotional components to that jaw issue as well. And... Uh, and, and I found that there were other things that started to help it. And I was starting to learn and feel what it was like when my jaw was where it was supposed to be on both sides. And so that was new. And, and then when I was introduced to Comra, um, I felt sort of empowered that I had a, um, something that I could use to support it. If I'd been talking a lot when I was working, often I would do conference calls and talk and talk and talk. And I knew that that was one of the things that gave me fatigue. So I started using the, the Comra therapy to provide some support and it really made a big difference. And so I've, I'm really sort of proud of the work we've done with that and that now I know if I'm going to have teeth cleaning, well, I'll probably use the Comra for maybe five days before I go to get my teeth cleaned. And I think it's one part to sort of develop that approach in your thinking and knowing that you have different options and what you can do for yourself. But the basically the validation of that is knowing that my body responds to it. So it does make a difference and it is a really productive thing to do in terms of providing the support pre-appointment and post-appointment and knowing when I need help. So I think it's knowing that balance of what I can do for myself and also understanding that I need other people, other modalities of care uh, that will complement and support what I'm already doing. So I think that's that's been a huge growth step. So it, by increments, it has come along so that when it requires intervention or planned support in advance of something, it doesn't take as much. Like I don't have to do 15 days of 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 Comra. Just like five days that week before I go, little amounts are much, are very effective now. And it's because my body, I think, has learned that, wow, oh, I'm receiving this support and it makes a difference and I'm, this is good, right? So that's how it feels to me. I have a, a lot of um, respect and gratitude that I have Comer in my life, believe me. I, I think I'm really healthy. I feel healthy. I sleep well, I take no prescriptions, I walk a lot. My, my doctor took me off of um, a prescription for blood pressure last year. And so I feel really enormously empowered. And then I know that everything's, everything has a solution. Like, and it's just a matter of 
being able to understand your body. And I'm, and I'm much better at listening to my body too. Like sometimes I can go weeks and weeks without using Comra. And all of a sudden I'll just kind of like, you know, I think maybe I should do one of those universal treatments. It kind of, you know, it springs here. Like I think maybe I just changing season, I, it feels right. So that's kind of the level on which I'm operating more now than I ever, ever did before. I struggled a lot with them. Um, sensitivities to chemicals, everything from cleaning products to perfumes, dust, you know, all those kinds of things really affect me. And how it affects me is my sinuses get really overwhelmed and I have all these physical symptoms where I couldn't breathe, you know, and, and, I, and I, I felt quite panicked by it actually, because I felt I didn't, I couldn't really control it. I mean, I was using the Comra with the just the regular medical terminal. And then after some consideration and, and the opportunity to get the probe, I started to use that as well. And that has had a profound and positive influence on managing my sinuses and reactions, you know. So the probe, in addition to the, the treatment protocol for sinusitis, has made a huge difference. And sometimes I'll just reach for the probe and I'll use it a few days in a row. It makes a big difference in terms of mitigating the nonstop drainage, the pain, and just generally feeling better. So that extra addition to my portfolio for Comer has been fabulous. So when, when you introduced Comer to me in 2015, I, I mean, you used it a couple of times in your practice with me and I felt the response to it. It was really marked, the, the response that I felt in my body. So I was prepared to get my own unit and carry on with your guidance and tutelage. And now I know that I can sense things, like I'm getting better at sensing things and listening to my body. And so, so I'll add, you know, the blood protocol in with something else I'm doing, even if it doesn't call for it, just because of what's going on, you know, um, so if my sinuses and everything's really troubling me and everything else, I might add blood protocol into it, but maybe I only do it every second day. So that's the place I've gotten to now with experimenting and kind of going with what I feel my body needs rather than just going to the page and following it. That's the great part about it, isn't it? That you can try and, and, and I think if you know your body, you'll you'll know whether or not that was good or whether you know, maybe you didn't need that. And I mean, it certainly is compatible with what I'm learning as I'm learning essential somatics as far as a movement program. Everything comes from the core and it's, you know, the brain and muscle connection. And and so much of what we do with, with Comer again is working from that place of inside, right? So it's a... It's a journey that's pretty exciting in terms of where it can take you and what the potential is. I didn't know I was looking for it until I found it, right? So, <laughs> I mean, it's it's been it's been a huge um, step for a whole lot of reasons, right? Comer has been a, a big part of that for sure. I'm very grateful for the willingness to go there as well and to embrace it and 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 you know. I'm benefiting so much from it. And it's it's wonderful, it really is. My sense is that when people start looking and searching for something, they know that what they're doing isn't working. They're looking for some alternate solutions, then I think there's an opportunity then to perhaps open the door for them with Comra. And you know, what, what resonates for me may be different for someone else. So that emotion, the intellectual, the physical, it's all, it's all part of who we are as one person and one affects the other. So, you know, and it's hard sometimes to connect those three for yourself, you know, but I think that's been a big part too of why I feel healthier now as compared to 15 years ago. <laughs>